So if it makes you as mad as it made me, the sometimes when you use HD monitors with the Raspberry Pi, it creates these black bars, and usually when you have a Windows or a Mac, it doesn't do this. Because that's because the Raspberry Pi tries to fix itself, even though it's really just breaking itself in the process of adjusting to your monitor. So, what you want to do is, you want to open up Terminal. I have LX Terminal on my desktop, and on the Raspberry Pi, you should know this already, but if you go in the bottom left corner, click the little thing, Accessories, and LX Terminal, that's how you get the terminal, a black box will appear. And here you want to type in a nano. And let it focus. I don't know what it's doing. Nano space slash boot slash config dot txt. It'll bring up this uh, code editor move it down to the disable overscan and you want to go and remove the hashtag before disable overscan this will make it so that it doesn't try to scan the monitor too much and you'll be able to have the correct resolution and no black bars anymore hopefully so once the hashtag is erased go to your keyboard and click control x then it'll ask you if you want to save modified buffer and just press the Y button on your keyboard. Then it'll tell you name to write. Just keep it the same and click enter. And then boom. Now he's got to restart the Raspberry Pi. And we'll be right back. Restarting the Raspberry Pi. You go here. And then you go to log out. Depending on what version you have, different things will pop up. I have a reboot option on mine. Some people don't. In other cases, you just log out and then turn off your Raspberry Pi and then bring it back on. So it's going to reboot right now. As you see, when it boots up, it uses the full portion of the screen. I will load up start. I will load up the LXDE just to show you, and you'll see that it will utilize every part of the screen, just like any other HD display. So this is how you change your resolution to actually work on the Raspberry Pi. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more Raspberry Pi videos as I will be releasing a lot more. Thank you and goodbye.